In the last session, we have discussed about effect of change of temperature. Now let's discuss about effect of change of pressure on physical state of matter. We have learned that the three states of matter differ with respect to interparticle spaces as well as interparticle forces. We have also discussed the effect of temperature in bringing about the change in state. In addition to temperature, pressure is another factor available which can cause a change in physical state of a substance. Actually, the increase in pressure also brings the particles of substance closer. As a result, the interparticle spaces decrease. At the same time, the interparticle forces increases. This leads to a change in the physical state. In order to illustrate the effect of pressure, take a gas in cylinder and apply pressure on it by a piston. At low pressure, the volume of the gas as well as interparticle spaces are very large. Under high pressure, the gas gets compressed. The interparticle spaces become less and interparticle forces become strong. As a result, the gaseous state may change to the liquid state. Under very high pressure, there is a further decrease in the volume. The interparticle forces become so strong that the liquid state may change to the solid state. Do you know what are the scale of measuring the pressure? Now let's discuss about it. Pressure is normally expressed in atmospheres. Do you know what is one atmosphere? One atmosphere equal to 76 centimeters of Hg equal to 760 millimeters of Hg equal to 1.013 bar. Do you know what is Hg? Hg is hydrogenum means mercury. Pressure is also measured in pascals. One atmosphere equal to 1.01 into 10 power 5 pascals. The pressure at sea level is one atmosphere and is regarded as normal atmospheric pressure. Evaporation During the study of change of state, we have seen that a liquid changes to a gaseous state either by increasing the temperature or by decreasing the pressure. This process is known as evaporation. The evaporation may be defined as the phenomenon of change of liquid from its surface to the vapor state at any temperature below the boiling point of the liquid. We know what is evaporation. Do you know the factors affecting the evaporation? Let's discuss about the factors affecting evaporation. The evaporation of liquids can be increased or accelerated by the following factors. An increase of surface area. Evaporation is a surface phenomenon. If the surface area is increased, the rate of evaporation increases. For example, spreading of wet clothes for quick drying. The second factor is an increase of temperature. With the increase of temperature, more number of particles get enough kinetic energy to, to go into the vapor state. The third factor is a decrease in the humidity. Humidity is the amount of water vapor present in air. The air around us cannot hold more than definite amount of water vapor at a given temperature. If the amount of water in air is already high, the rate of evaporation decreases. The fourth factor is an increase in the wind speed. It is a common observation that clothes dry faster on a windy day. With the increase in wind speed, the particles of water vapor move away with the wind as decrease in the amount of water vapor in the surroundings. The fifth factor is nature of the liquid. We have so far discussed the external factors which influence the extent of evaporation. Apart from these, another factor which is of great importance is the nature of liquid which is evaporating. We often see that Alcohol evaporates at a faster rate than water. In fact, the boiling point of alcohol 350 Kelvin is less than that of water 373 Kelvin. This means that interparticle forces of attraction in alcohol are less than in water. Therefore, alcohol will evaporate faster than water. Thus, we conclude that lesser the boiling point of a liquid, more its tendency to change into vapors or to evaporate. We have studied that both evaporation and boiling 
It presents change of state from liquid to gas or vapors. Is boiling and evaporation same? If not, what are the differences we observed between boiling and evaporation? Give your answers in the comment section. Now let's discuss about chemical classification of matter. In the previous goals, you have studied the scientific definition of matter. You have also studied about how matter may be classified into three states and the states it could undergo. But matter can also be classified chemically. Matter can be classified either into pure substance or impure substance which can also be termed as mixture of various substances. See above the flow chart. Classification of matter. Matter is classified into two types. Those are pure substances and impure substances. Pure substances are classified into two types. Those are elements and compounds. Compounds are classified into two types. Those are organic and inorganic. Elements are of four types. Metals, non-metals, metalloids and noble gases. Now come to impure substances. Impure substances are classified into two types. Homogeneous mixture, heterogeneous mixture. Heterogeneous mixture are classified into two types. Colloids and suspensions. Do you know what is a pure substance? A pure substance is a homogeneous meaning of the same kind material with a definite invariable means that is unchangeable chemical composition and a definite invariable physical and chemical properties. Do you know what are the characteristics of a pure substance? Now let's discuss about it. The first point is a pure substance is essentially homogeneous. The second point is a pure substance has a fixed composition. The third point is a pure substance can either be an element or a compound. The fourth point is a pure substance should have the same chemical composition throughout its mass. The last point is it should have the same chemical properties throughout its mass. Pure substances are again two types. They are element and compound. We will discuss about this in the next session. Do you know what is an impure substance? Now let us know about it. An impure substance is a material that has a mixture of two or more substances which are physically mixed in. Impure substances have different compositions and properties in their different parts. Mixture do you know what is a mixture? I think you all know about it. A mixture is a substance which consists of two or more elements or compounds of different types which are not chemically combined together whose composition may vary within certain limits. Some of examples of mixture is NaCl in water, sand in water, chalk in water, air, blood and etc.